Hi everyone, in this video we are going to use this nice diagram from, from Klein and Dutro to look at symmetry operations and their various types. So the first one that is shown here in the upper right hand corner, this is rotation. And so in this case we have a hand uh, and that hand is being rotated around this y-axis here and it's being rotated 180 degrees and by rotating it we get another hand here. So this hand uh, is referred to as a motif. It doesn't have to be a hand. It could be an atom or a set of atoms or anything else that you like. So in this case, they're showing a hand. And as you'll see in a moment, using a hand has some advantages. So this is an example of a rotational uh, axis of symmetry. In this case, the rotational axis is the, the y-axis here. Uh, what is shown over here is a mirror plane. So we have a hand over here and it's being reflected across that mirror plane over here. So here is a mirror plane, another type of symmetry operation. Then we have an inversion. Uh, and with the inversion, we have a point. And in this case, the way this works is we'll take the tip of the hand, maybe the uh, tips of the fingers there, and we'll project them through that point to get the tips of the fingers down here. And over here, we'll take the wrist and project the wrist through that point to get the wrist over here. And then we'll take the thumb, project it to, through that point to get the thumb, etc. And so we get an inversion operation. And then finally, over here, we're going to combine both inversion and rotation to get roto inversion. So, roto inversion is uh, at least a two step, sometimes a multi step process. We're going to start from the original motif here. In this case, instead of a hand, it's a comma. It's going to be rotated, in this case, 180 degrees. It doesn't have to be 180 degrees, but in this case, because we have 180 degrees rotation, then that is a two-fold rotational axis. Uh, if we just had a simple rotational axis, then we'd simply have another comma here. Notice that we're using the z-axis as the, the symmetry axis. So we're going to rotate, get another motif here, but we're not done. That, mo that is not a permanent position. For a regular two-fold, we'd have another comma here. But we're not going to stop. What we're going to do is project through this inversion point here, just as we invert it over here. It's the same kind of thing, where the bulk of the comma would go through that inversion point to produce the bulk of the comma over here. The tail of the comma would project to get the tail. So we get two motifs, one up here, the original, and this guy over here. There's nothing that actually ends up existing in this part of uh, the system under this uh, roto inversion. Now these all get different kinds of symbols. So this is this rotation here, uh, because it's 180 degrees, it is also a two-fold rotation. So we call it a two. For a mirror, we simply use the letter M. For an inversion, we use I. For two-fold roto inversion, so we'll just complete that here, we use a bar two. So those are the different types of uh, rotational symmetry and operations, uh, and we will look at a couple of more of these in, in some different videos.